All right, so this is our first recording. It's um, recorded on the Logitech G93 gaming headsets building microphone. Um, this is how it sounds like. Test one, two, three. And I'm going to switch to the next one, which is a Shure X2U XLR to USB um, converter. So I can plug in my uh, dynamic microphone directly into my PC and do a recording. And you guys can compare the quality. Okay, guys, so previously um, we've did a recording on the Logitech G93 gaming headsets building microphone, um, which claim to have the noise cancellation function and clear voice technology as they claim. But now um, this, this one, this, this sound is actually recorded on a Shure X2U uh, digital SL XLR to USB um, converter and I have a AKG D5 microphone plugged in and uh, this is the sound coming out from the digital converter and you can take a look and see how it sounds like test one two three test one two three and also notice the noise level the default noise level the white noise on the background and see the difference Next, I'm going to switch to a Zoom H5 handheld digital recorder. And that's going to be my last test, but I'm going to be using two different record, I mean, two different input source uh, for that test. All right, here we go. And uh, for this test, we are using the Zoom H5 digital handheld uh, recorder. The recorder is plugged in through a USB cable to the PC. And uh, I'm recording using the exact, exact same microphone as the previous recording, which um, was using the Shure X2U converter. And now it's plugged into the Zoom H5. And you guys can take a look, I mean, not take a look, but try to hear the difference between uh, two different um, input devices and how it sounds like. Test, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. And for our last test, we'll be using the same Zoom H5 digital recorder, but um, I'll unplug this microphone and use its building microphone and see how that sounds like. Um, keep in mind, this microphone is, is a mono-channel microphone, but the building microphone from the Zoom H5 is actually a stereo microphone. So that would be interesting to hear. Okay, this is going to be our last test. It's um, using the Zoom H5 handheld recorders building stereo microphone. And this is what it sounds like. Test. One, two, three. Test. Okay, so by now you guys probably figured the best sounding one is the last one. Um, it's the last option that I've just shown you guys, which is a Zoom H5. Um, the handheld recorder with uh, with the building stereo microphone and uh, it's no surprise because this option is also the most expensive because the Zoom H5 uh, device actually cost me about $270 uh, from the music store um, I bought it last year and uh, but it's also the most versatile uh, recording device because not only you can hook it up to your computer you can also take take it onto the field to record all kinds of gigs and uh, concerts and any other recording needs or like maybe even nature sounding like nature sounds or uh, that kind of um, stuff and uh, so it's most versatile and I think I definitely like the sound from the Zoom H5 but um, it's not as practical uh, to be used as a gaming communication microphone because um, you have to actually go and find a desktop stand to mount it onto your desktop and you have to have a optimized distance between your mouth and the microphone and uh, even though it sounds best it's it's gonna add a lot of um, it's gonna add a lot of items onto your desktop if you are if you are the person that likes simplicity on your desktop you definitely don't want this setup because it's gonna be a lot more wires and stands um, in front of your keyboard and uh, 
the the medium option, which was the Shure um, X2U, the XRR to USB digital converter, it's it's a good option as well, but it also requires additional setup with a desktop stand with your microphone. So that's kind of cumbersome, um, but it's an in-between option because it's it's very cheap to get that converter. It's about, uh, I got it for like uh, $35 on eBay. And uh, you just need, if you already have your existing dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone to use, it's wonderful. It, you're, gonna not, you, you're not gonna spend any more money than that. You basically just hook your microphone up to your converter and to your desktop, and you can use it right away. But that option, um, the recording quality is a little bit less than the Zoom H5 because notice the white noise in the background, the th hissing sound. Um, it's the noise gate is significantly higher uh, than the Zoom H5, but it's also significantly cheaper. It's less than forty dollars um, your total investment, and uh, of course. Back to the building Logitech G933 gaming headset. Um, that headset cost me $80 total and uh, not only comes with a microphone for communication needs, it's also wireless and it's also multi-device um, compatible. So basically you can plug it into your PC with a uh, analog cable and you can also have a USB plug into your Xbox or PS4 and at the same time, you can stream from multiple devices. And that's that's a great plus. And uh, so in terms of best bang for your buck, a gaming headset, um, you're gonna get really good sound quality, but the microphone quality is not gonna be as ideal as they claim. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so that's uh, that's something I want to test out. I want to see if the microphone quality is as good as it claim, like a noise canceling feature and really crisp and clear communications. But I mean, it works only okay. It's not different than any other like desktop tiny microphone there is. It's just a built-in convenience because it's built directly into your headset. And uh, that concludes our test. Hopefully, you guys. Um, had a good idea of how the gaming headset microphone sounds as well as uh, some other better options in terms of sound quality and uh, to improve your communications during gaming. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer for you guys. Take care.